What's up guys, Ben here from culturedkiwi.com. I'm here today to show you one of my quick workflows I do to go from a raw image such as this one here, straight out of the camera, into a punchy black and white image that is sharpened and ready for publishing uh, to the internet. It's a great workflow and you can do it in under five minutes once you get the, the flow of things. So I'll have a link down below to all of the images uh, that I've done this with and a few of my recent posts. And otherwise, enjoy the video. So here we are in Lightroom. Uh, I have one of my recent images I took on my trip to Cornwall. Uh, you can see here the image is very flat, typical of a raw image straight out of the camera. There was a, a significant amount of light falling on the water here that I really, really did like. Uh, but it hasn't shown up here in the raw image, so I'm a little bit disappointed. And what I want to do is convert this to black and white just to really accentuate that light on the water and the contrast between these two guys here. So, in order to do this, uh, we open the image in Lightroom, as I have done here, run down the side pane here, and enable profile corrections which will bring out the distortion in the lens and remove chromatic or aberrations which happen around the edges and fringes especially on the edges of the image once we've done that we'd leave Lightroom that's that's basically all we need to do we right click the image edit in Adobe Photoshop all right and here we are in Lightroom we have the image opened up here uh, looking flat like it was uh, before I'll zoom in there for us um, first thing I do always is go up here to levels and what you can see here is a histogram we've got all the data captured there's no blown out highlights and no too dark shadows um, but that's that obviously doesn't create a contrasty image and I want contrast in this so the easiest way to do that we can do it manually by dragging down these dragging down the sliders to, to the top of the highlights till we start to see some image some some punchiness come in the image and same here down with the low lights but I find the best is to have options so if you hold down alt that's um, the same or option on the Mac alt on the windows click auto that'll bring up this menu here from this menu you can click through four different ways in which they do basically what I've shown you how to do there manually but using per channel contrast uh, finding the dark and light and just enhancing like which is similar to what I did in initially so we'll pick one here that gives us a bit more contrast I think that's sort of a bit of a blue tint so I'll, I'll go with this one <coughs> which stretches out our histogram there click OK it'll apply that in a new layer that's what we have down here that's the important part we've got the layers in case we need to go back we can turn it off turn it on at any time click the background layer head up here to filters and I go to the Nick collection this is a really really powerful collection and Silver Freaks Pro is bar none the best black and white conversion software out there so here we are in Silver Freaks Pro 2 uh, and what we have basically on the left hand pane here is a number of different filters we can apply these are different combinations of, of the global adjustments plus some some other adjustments they have down here uh, like I said before, I'm looking for a punchy image that has a lot of contrast. Something like this. This is, I guess, equivalent to an HDR image if you're using color where, where we stretch out the exposures. Um, we want to increase the dynamic range. As this image was quite flat, um, I'm looking to to bring out the structure of the image. We go through these. These are all fairly, fairly nice, smooth, but I really want to bring out those light beams on the water there. So we head down here to full contrast and structure. That's really showing you what I could see on the day, and it was it was absolutely fantastic. As it is, it's quite nice, but I think I'd like to bring out the the contrast in the image, and I don't like this sort of distracting uh, bit of grass in the corner here. So what I'll do is, I think when you when you adjust these sliders, you always want to go a bit too far, and then bring it back, sort of see what's possible in each direction, and bring it back, see what happens there. We can see what you've got to know what you can't do before you can do something. See, so bringing down the brightness there really brings out the emphasis on those beams. And I, I really like that. So I think what I'll do is, is leave the brightness down. Contrast is up a touch naturally. I don't want to go too much in the contrast. What you've got to really look to avoid is too much black in, in clouds. People don't like that so much. 
Um, how about if I increase the structure? What happens when we bring it right up? Yeah, see, we get sort of artificial looking. Same down, we get too soft. So I'll give it a bit of structure, which will bring those beams out and just drop the brightness down a bit. Yeah, I think that's really, really emphasizing what I wanted uh, to look at on the day. So what we'll do, hit OK, bring it back into Photoshop here. So here we are, we're back into Photoshop, and what we've done is we've added another layer here, the Silver Effects Pro 2 layer. And we can turn that off, and we can turn that on, and you see there's quite a stark difference between the two of them. That allows us the freedom to, to adjust it by adding more layers. If we don't like our, the brightness, etc., we can change that. Not a problem. So what I've got here is, let's say that's what I want. I mean, I could fluff around with this, and I think I would do a little bit more. I think it's a little bit too dark. But for now, we'll just show you how to keep going. You can, you can add more brightness, contrast, exactly what you want, but let's keep going what I have here is the TK actions I'll have a link down below the video in which you can find all of these uh, but this is I think about $30 and the app app. he has a number of actions he's put together here for you which are sequences of events in Photoshop uh, that basically save you a whole bunch of time uh, especially the, the web sharpening tools that I've been using a lot lately are really 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 fantastic so, for if I'm outputting this to my website, look at, like I do most of the time, I'll head down the bottom here and hit 1920. If it's a if it's a horizontal image, such as this one, if it's a vertical image, then you want to hit the V that's next to the adjacent number. I mean, you can go lower if you want to look at it for icons, especially something for, say, your Twitter profile or something like that. You can you can hit all of these separate options, but for now we'll hit 1920. And what that'll do is run through a series of actions, adding sharpening layers, removing halos, making it look a lot better and ready for publishing to the internet. Doesn't take too long, but yeah, there we go. So we have the, the, the final image there. I'll zoom out a little bit. We can see now it looks much better. We have a much sharper image than, than it was before. It, it really does is starting to look fantastic. Uh, like I said, I think I would change this a bit more if, if I was personally doing it. But I think right now that's, that's the look I wanted initially, just emphasizing the light. So we'll continue with this. Click Save for Web. We can run through the image here. We see it's grainy, it's gritty. That's what I wanted at the start. It's emphasizing the light. I think we don't have any spots or anything on the image, we can quickly check. And then run down here, I will add the metadata here, and click save. Run through the dialog box and you're done, that's it. Replace the previous one. That was my practice for this tutorial by the way. <laughs> and that's it. So thanks for watching, if you like this video I'm planning to do a lot more of these quick uh, tutorial videos that will help you out and yeah please hit subscribe and check out all the links below to everything else that i've talked about in the video thanks for watching